Greetings for the day. Today, I, Ayan Kapoor of Class 10C, would like to present you my video on the topic Saying No to Corruption, Commit to the Nation. Now, the question arises, what is corruption? Corruption is a pervasive global issue that undermines trust, equality and the well-being of societies. It involves the misuse of power or authority for personal gain, often at the expense of the public interest. This presentation will delve into the different forms of corruption, its far-reaching consequences and the imperative for individuals and this community is to say no to corruption in order to build a more just and prosperous world. Why should we address corruption? Addressing corruption is paramount for the creation of a better society. Corruption erodes trust in institutions, fosters inequality, hampers economic growth, and diverts resources away from essential public services. A society that effectively combats corruption is more just, equitable, and prosperous, providing its citizens with opportunities, security, and a higher quality of life. By taking a stand against corruption, we pave the way for a brighter and a more promising future for all. Hi Ayan. Hi. Congratulations Ayan. I heard you have created a lot of awareness about corruption among people through your PPT. Yes. Ayan. What is it? It's that I want to know what are the causes of corruption? Corruption is a complex issue with multiple root causes. Some of the primary factors contributing to corruption include lack of transparency, weak rule of law, culture of impunity, political and economic. I hope I have cleared your doubt. My pleasure. Bye. See you in the school tomorrow. Sure. Bye, Ayan. There are many forms of corruption. They are explained from the next slides with various life examples. or nepotism. First example, offering of a bribe by a motorist after being caught for a traffic violation on road. Second example, demand of a bribe to expedite the processing of paperwork for a needy citizen. The second form of corruption is grand corruption. Grand corruption, also known as high level corruption, involves engaging in corrupt activities by people for personal gain or to benefit their networks. This form of corruption can have substantial impact on a country's economy and stability. First example, diverting of public money meant for useful products into personal bank accounts. Second example, granting favorable contracts to a specific company in exchange for financial benefits. political corruption. First example, bribing voters for gathering support. Second example, tampering with ballots, voter separation or engaging in gerrymandering to ensure their party's victory. Administrative or bureaucratic corruption. Administrative or bureaucratic corruption takes place within government agencies and public administration. It involves misusing power for preferential treatment to individuals or businesses in exchange for bribes or favors. This can lead to inefficiency, unequal access to public services and a lack
that of transparency. Like first example, showing favoritism in avoiding avoiding contracts. Second example, allowing illegal importation of goods without proper documentation. The fifth form of corruption is judicial corruption. Judicial corruption occurs within the legal system and can undermine the rule of law. It includes instances of court proceedings, manipulation of biased decisions in exchange for personal gain or political influence. Example, manipulating the legal process for a lenient sentence or acquittal. The sixth form of corruption is corporate corruption. Corporate corruption refers to corrupt act practices within the business world. This includes fraud, embezzlement, insider trading and other unethical behaviors by individuals or organizations. These practices can harm shareholders, consumers and the overall economy. Example 1. Overstarting profits to mislead investors and regulators. Second example. Favoring certain suppliers. Healthcare corruption involves corrupt practices within the healthcare sector, such as doctors accepting kickbacks for prescribing specific drugs, manipulating patient records, or embezzling funds meant for healthcare services. Example 1 Prescribing medicines even if they are not the most cost effective option. Example 2 Misusing funds meant for patient care and infrastructure improvement. public trust, distorts resource allocation and impacts economic growth. Here are some of the key negative impacts of corruption. Economic inefficiency, reduced economic growth, poverty and inequality, erosion of trust, undermining of the rule of law, impediment to development, political instability, environmental degradation, international consequences. These are discussed in the next few slides with some examples. Case studies of corruption of the points which were discussed in the previous slide. Case study 1. Economic inefficiency. The bridge to nowhere in Alaska, USA is an infamous example of corruption in resource allocation. It was a $223 million project that served a tiny community of 50 people. The allocation of funds for this project was widely criticized as wasteful and driven by political considerations rather than merit. Study 2. Reduced Economic Growth Statistics according to Transparency International's Corruption Perceptions Index Countries with higher corruption scores tend to have lower GDP per capita. For instance, in 2020, Somalia, the most corrupt country, had a GDP per capita of just $500, while Denmark, the least corrupt, had a GDP per capita of $60,000. Case Study 3 Weekend Institutions The case of Venezuela demonstrates how corruption can weaken institutions. Corruption has contributed to economic collapse, the collapse of public services, and political instability in the country, Venezuela. Case 
Case Study 4 Erosion of Trust Statistics According to Edelman's Trust Barometer, trust in government is negatively correlated with perceived corruption. In 2021, trust in government was below 50% in, in 21 out of 28 countries surveyed, indicating widespread distrust. Case Study 5 Undermining of the Rule of Law Case Study The Watergate scandal in the US led to the resignation of the President Richard Nixon in 1974. This case involved the abuse of power, obstruction of justice and other corrupt practices. Case Study 6 Impediment to Development Afghanistan has struggled with corruption for years. Misappropriation of funds and corruption have hindered development efforts in the country, resulting in a lack of basic, basic infrastructure and services. Case Study 7 Political Instability The Arab Spring uprisings in countries like Tunisia and Egypt were driven by public frustration with corruption, lack of accountability, and economic disparity. Case Study 8 Environmental Degradation Corruption in Brazil, as seen in the Operation Car Wash scandal, facilitated illegal logging and deforestation in the Amazon rainforest, contributing to environmental degradation. Case Study 9 International Consequences The 1MDB scandal in Malaysia involved the embezzlement of billions of dollars, some of which were used to finance the production of the movie The Wolf of Wall Street. This case had international implications and raised concerns about money laundering and ill set financial flows. Explain how individuals can report instances of corruption. Reporting instances of corruption is crucial for maintaining transparency and accountability in government and other institutions. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how individuals can report corruption. Solution 1. Document the details before reporting corruption. Gather as much as information as possible about the incident. Know the date, time, location, people involved and any relative documents or evidence. Be sure to keep this information confidential and secure. There is a second solution too. Identify the appropriate authority. This means determine the appropriate authority or agency to report the corruption. This may depend on the nature of the corruption and where it occurs. Common options include international internal reporting mechanisms, some organizations, both public and private, have internal mechanisms for reporting corruption. This could be an ethics hotline. This graph shows the percentage of corruption in the government sector.